president is meeting with his national security team, members of them this morning, to get an update on cyber, on ransomware, uh, and we'll see where we go from there. But he reserves the right to take action, should he warrant that being the appropriate step forward. Turning now to the Biden presidency, the White House is working on a government-wide strategy to deal with ransomware attacks. Top security officials were called to the White House this morning to talk cybersecurity after the recent attack on an American software company. That company based right here in Miami. A Russian cyber gang demanded money in that breach, the latest example of cyber criminals appearing to act with impunity inside Russia. CBS 4's Skylar Henry has more from Washington. President Biden summoned top security officials to the Situation Room Wednesday morning over the latest ransomware attacks. What's your message, What's your message? on cyber? Any message after the breach on cyber? At what point does the United States respond? The latest and single biggest global attack on record targeted Miami-based IT software company Kaseya in what's known as a supply chain attack. It affected hundreds of companies worldwide, including railways and a Swedish grocery chain. A Russia-based cyber hacking gang called Revil initially demanded $70 million in ransom. How does this keep happening? Very vulnerable companies can be easily identified, targeted, exploited. There's a hell of a lot of money on the line for these types of criminal groups that are finding a great way and a reliable way of getting paid. The White House says there have been ongoing high-level talks since the president's summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin, but it's not commenting on possible retaliation. The president has a range of options should he determine to take action. President Biden has said the damage to U.S. businesses from the Kaseya breach is minimal. Experts are calling for stronger disclosure laws to protect consumers. Ransomware really is still an iceberg problem. There's a small percentage of these events that you're actually seeing reporting on, and many more go unreported. The Russian state is also denying involvement in a recent hack breaching a technology provider for the Republican National Committee. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. The RNC has said that none of its data was accessed in that breach.